There's very few fragrances that I already have a preconceived notion in my head of the hype that it's going to produce. Now I could be wrong, but this is one of the latest releases by Savoir Faire and this one's called The Whiskey Rose. Let's roll my motherfucking music for these first impressions cause I hope it's good. Plus, good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. All right, so I purchased this fragrance. It wasn't sent to me. Let's start off with that, just for the trolls and butthurt people. Like, oh, he's only gonna have to shut the fuck up. Here's the presentation. Has not changed from Savoir Faire. I believe this insert is a little bit different than I've seen from before. Very nice and artistic piece. Here is the bottle. The Whiskey Rose by Savoir Faye. Uh, looks like the labels have changed a little bit. It's got a little bit of a texture to it, but who fucking cares? It's all about the juice. And I wanna get right into this shit. I'm gonna go directly on skin, which I don't do much of. One, because I like the house of Savoir Faye a lot. Two is I'm so low on test strips and in building the studio, I must have threw out a fucking pack of it. So, Whiskey Rose. I purchased this on the website when I saw the Instagram release that there was anything with the name Whiskey in it. Cuba's there. I mean, it's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, that's just my shit. So, let's get right to it. And then I'll let you know. Maybe we'll look up some notes. Whatever. Let's just go. All right. I'm gonna let it air out a little bit. And let's see if Whiskey Rose... I mean, I need to let this work. I need to let this marinate. This is a vibe. This is definitely a fucking vibe. All right, so I'm gonna give you first impressions. I'm just trying to get all the thoughts in my head fucking processing so I could spit it out correctly. I do get a nice single malt whiskey type note. Not peaty, but single malt, not a blend. The rose here is not a super power player. It feels like it's just a subtle hint of rose. It doesn't feel like it's an overbearing red rose, geriatric feeling, or something you would picture like I'm in an MFK oud rose combination. That's not what this is at all. The rose just feels like a supporting actress in a movie. The whiskey vibe is definitely prominent here, but it's not just whiskey. It's like whiskey dry woods, like barrel aged whiskey. There's a very light sour citric note. So I'm getting a little bit of a oud, very small bit of oud resinous kind of vibe. Woody, leather maybe. The rose here isn't crazy power. It's literally just kind of chilling. It's not even a heavy rose type fragrance for me. This might have bergamot, but it's a little extra sour. There's something maybe creamy vanillic. Myrrh. 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 Slightly incensey too. This is a fucking nice fragrance. This is a deep fragrance. This is a thoughtful fragrance. This doesn't produce, I'm gonna keep it all the way a thousand. This doesn't produce that visceral reaction that I had with Soul Cafe. This is more of a thought-provoking fragrance in my opinion. It's fucking elegant. Like the shit here is that it's an elegant fall fragrance. This is leather jacket vibes with a beautiful purple lining. Don't ask me where that came from. Super lovely, super elegant, felt cap, leather jacket, purple lining, leathery vibes, woody, whiskey, scenario. This is very... This is a thought-provoking fragrance that just puts you situationally in a particular spot. This is, it just has me going back to thinking this is a thought-provoking fragrance. This is lovely. I mean, for somebody who does this shit themselves, that isn't classically trained on perfumery, like, fucking dude is pulling hits. Like, I don't, I don't get it. This shit just fucking works. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, recap. Dry down, mid to base dry down, this is where the rose is at. 
This is where the rose is hiding. The rose is not living up top. The rose is completely settling down and really starts to creep up after the whiskey kind of reduces itself a little bit and starts adapting to your skin. That rose starts popping up. This is a fire, fr this is a ball sprayer. Good fucking release. Good fucking release. Thought provoking, sexy, scenario scene, dark leather vibes. It, you fucking did it again. Whiskey Rose. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. Shout out to Savoir Fay. Well fucking done. And they were gracious enough to send me a complimentary bottle of the new release, so we'll be touching on that real soon. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. Smooches. Cubano, 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 Cubano. What's fresh? Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Cubano. Fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag. When it's time to call back for the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib, it's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would.